we're making healthy lasagna and here is my lineup I have going. We'll go ahead and start with all the ingredients. You're going to need garlic, Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, crushed tomatoes, mushroom, spinach, ground beef, and here I'm using 93% lean, 7% fat, whole grain lasagna noodles, and I'm using part skim mozzarella, Parmesan cheese, basil, and two eggs. So I wanted to add for the most part, I'll be doubling this recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my oven on 350 degrees and then go ahead and chop up the mushrooms. And then I'm also gonna get a pot going, boil some water so that way I can get the lasagna noodles in there. The lasagna is boiling. It's got about five more minutes to go. I've got the mushrooms chopped up, which took forever to chop up. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of the stuff measured out and then we'll be good to go. All right, so to start out, we're gonna go ahead and measure out some dry Italian seasoning and then two garlic cloves or some minced garlic in a jar that probably will be easier. Two teaspoons of salt. I'm gonna go ahead and ground out a teaspoon of pepper. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up about half a cup of some fresh basil. Um, if you have it in um, a spice container, that's fine. Um, and then afterwards, I'm gonna go ahead and grate some Parmesan or Asiago cheese if you have that laying around. All right, now that everything is chopped up and measured out, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my hamburger meat, add in the mushrooms and the Italian seasoning and cook that for about seven to eight minutes. So I'm browning about three pounds of hamburger meat over here and that's been kind of cooking for about two minutes now. I'm gonna go ahead and add Remember guys, I'm doubling parts of this because I've made it before and I kind of know what our family likes. We kind of like it a bit more on the saucy side and we like a lot of meat in it. So I'm adding one tablespoon of Italian seasoning and then I'm adding eight ounces of mushrooms here. I really hope I have enough room for all of this stuff. I should have known better that Dutch oven pot was definitely not big enough for all of this stuff so I went ahead and switched pots I'm gonna go ahead and add in about uh, two teaspoon or about four cloves of garlic I went ahead and just used the minced garlic that I had and I'm adding two 28 ounce cans of crushed tomatoes And then I'm also adding two teaspoons of salt. I'm gonna let this simmer for about three to four minutes. And then I'm gonna add in 16 ounces of spinach. So while the hamburger mixture is finishing up with cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and crack two eggs. And then I did forget to tell you guys in the lineup, but you're going to need part skim ricotta cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and add two 16 ounce containers of these and one teaspoon of pepper. So 
I've got everything ready to go. I've got the ricotta cheese mixture. I've got the hamburger meat mixture and then I have the lasagna noodles. So basically I'm just going to layer everything here in the casserole dish and then put it in the oven for about 40 to 50 minutes for it to bake. So the recipe calls for sprinkling it with about three-fourths cup of mozzarella. So for me, that's probably going to be a cup and a half. So after all the toppings are put on, I'm going to go ahead and then cover it with aluminum foil and pop it in the oven 350 degrees for about 50 minutes to 60 minutes until it's about steaming hot and everything is cooked all the way through. Guess who has a package? So dinner has about just 10 more minutes to cook. I ordered this package yesterday and I am very surprised that it came today. So one day shipping um, instead of two. Let's get it out. Y'all will never guess what this is. Shocker, I need a water bottle. Um, this is from Hydromate. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. So I already have a, um, a water bottle at work. The one that I have is a 64 ounce, so that's half a gallon. Um, but I was looking to try and get one that has the mm -hmm. markers on it because I feel like it's a whole lot more motivating to try and get your water in. Um, and got my favorite color blue. So this is good. This is good. So I'll probably try and drink this up until like seven o'clock. So that way I'm not peeing um, all night. So yeah, I'll go ahead and link this down for you guys below um, in case you're interested. Guys, look at how good this looks. It looks so pretty. Um, yeah, so this was then cooking. It cooked for about 50 minutes and I have to tell you guys, don't be dumb like me. I double this dish, but there definitely was not enough room in this casserole dish. I had juices and stuff spilling over, so I had to put one of those baking sheets underneath it to catch the stuff so that way we wouldn't get the stove or the oven all dirty. So after that was done cooking, I went ahead and added about a cup of the part skim mozzarella cheese on top of it and then sprinkled about four tablespoons of the Parmesan cheese and then just garnished that with some basil. So... Um, like I said, we've had this dish before and we absolutely love it. So definitely give this a try. So this is just going to cool down for a little bit and then we're going to have dinner. 